Hi, this is Mark Soden. I'm here for Wonder Valley Experimental 14, and I'm with James Allen, J3M5. Hi, James. How's it going? Mark, thank you for having me. My name is James, and uh, I, I go by the moniker J3M5. It's, it's easy to, to remember, because if, if you look at it, it if you try to put it into a word, it, it'll, say, it'll say gems. So you'll remember, oh, that's James. Okay. So, so it just kind of rhymes, and uh, and um, I I, uh, I I work out of the San Fernando Valley. I'm I'm here here on the edge in Calabasas, and um, I have a little home studio here. It's kind of just a uh, small room of stuff that I've cobbled together. Basically, what I do is I have, I, I guess you you could call it a, a media practice. Um, I uh, started with with circuit bending. That is my is my thing right so it's like i started with that that was kind of the, the 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 launch pad before that i was i was doing mostly painting sculpture dance so that was kind of like what i what i was doing before i got into circuit bending and uh, so it all started with circuit bending and uh i really got into what's called live pa where you you basically you you light up a PA system and a, and a mixer, and you fill fill it up with the inputs, and you work over these machines live. There's no editing. There's no um, there's no way you could cue stuff up. I mean everything is is just kind of spontaneous. You really don't have any way to make them. You can't like go back on anything. You can't you can't make a mistake. <laughs> and uh, so so that's what I do. It's a, it's a circuit bent live PA. And uh, pretty much after that, everything just fell in place. You know, outside of that, I, I do um, I, I do distro stuff with stores, and uh, do do trades with people to like get get music out there, and and then uh, mostly releasing cassettes, but also releasing CDs too, and um, a, a little vinyl too when when the money's when the money's right. How did you hear about Wonder Valley Experimental? Wow. So um, that it's kind of a kind of a, I'll give you some backstory to how I heard about it or how I found out about Wonder Valley Experimental was that there was a, an artist that we were releasing. And when I say me and or, or we, it was a, a collaborator of mine, OCD. Um, and uh, we, we he, that, that was his artist. He was he was decided I, I want to release this guy's stuff. And so, so we we're, we're doing that, and um, I, I said, you know, I, I I better go out and go to this guy's show. I better start going to some of this guy's shows. Maybe I could sell the work there. Maybe I could, maybe I I could talk to him, chit chat with him, and and so so that's when I kind of understood about Wonder Valley Experiment. That's the first time I went. Yeah, and and, and that that was it was a good experience. You know, I saw kind of the crowd it was, and I was like, oh, oh this is this is interesting. They're, they're doing something unique here. And uh, that, that's kind of how I found out about it, even though I didn't continue, um, we, we didn't continue our company, um, you, but, but we, we and, I, and I didn't continue working with that artist. We, we uh, found out about a lot of things by working together, mm -hmm. and releasing music, releasing music for profit. Wow, that's great. That's a very interesting way to come upon Wonder Valley. So the next question, falls under the heading of show and tell. And you can talk about your gear or your process, something along those lines. Um, so like I mentioned earlier, I, I mean, almost everything I work with is, is, is circuit bent, um, meaning that, that, that I, I modified it. Now I'm not a bender for, for profit. I just work on my own stuff. Occasionally I do other stuff for other uh, people. Th this seems to be a hot item. I'm, I'm still working on it for the guy Wish I could work a little bit more on it, but these seem to be a pretty hot item, uh, just because they look like like a cat. So I tried to convert it into like a tiger bomb cat. I don't know if you could see this very well or not, but uh, I've tried. I tried to kind of, you know, change it up a little bit, mm -hmm. make it a little bit more interesting for him. Um, it's it's definitely been modified a lot. I mean, the back is capped. There's new stuff inside. And, uh, that's going to need a lot of work. I need to order a new oscillator for it because of a, of a problem with the, uh, the one that I prepped. 
but so yeah, every, everything I work with is 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 pretty much the sound sources are circuit bent. I mean, there's a few a few things in there. There's like effects mm -hmm. that that I add in. Um, I, I do occasionally use a, a hardware sampler, and I do occasionally use a modular synthesizer. Um, but but for the most part, I, I I'm sticking toward these custom sources. Um, and, and it always has two things. Always has two things. It, one is it has to have a Casio style, quote unquote, aleatoric glitch. This is a very like very typical thing. It has to have it every set. If it if it doesn't have it, it's it's you know it's it, it's it's probably not a good set, or it's not a set I would share. The other thing it has to have is it has to have a Texas instrument style glitch, and then this is a a, a chip set that was popular on a, on a certain device like speak and spell speak and read well those same chips are also in a in a other devices too um so the one i use most mostly is a is a talking teacher so um yeah so that's a little bit about what goes into my life pa of mm -hmm. course wax bent pedals stock pedals um a thorough kind of comprehensive midi interconnected uh setup and um over everything there's like a, a reverb um he's a really really nice uh um eventide reverb i i i like it it's it's mm -hmm. like you get any 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 more um quality out of a reverb that's a really good one so that that's um kind of what goes into my life pa and uh, the rest is the rest is really improvisational. You know, you kind of have to keep the timing in your head. You have to have to kind of really, really stay over those things. Um, and and also, I mean, I do use a um, to to put everything on a clock. Mm -hmm. I use a um, a, a TR five hundred five that's been circuit bent, and that's the the MIDI master clock. Um, unless I'm using a sampler, then that that would be the master clock. But um, interesting. So, so that's kind of like the basis there, there's not a whole lot of room to move in my practice like like you really i can't just just say oh i, I want to go buy that and you know and put, put it in my set it, it doesn't work like that it's like it's it's like if, if you're doing circuit bending you, you're you're locked in there's nothing you could change um very little you could change anyway fascinating well that's that's wonderful kind of because you know that all of these all of these sounds are from your work you know, it's like, it's not, there, nobody else is responsible for it and you, you own it. That's great. That's awesome. Yeah. I, I, I hope so. I, I hope so. I, I do, I do have to say though, that when, when I go out and see other, other people doing what they do at shows, I really get caught on to some of, some of the stuff that they could do with the new equipment. And it, it's really easy to get caught up in that and say, wow, I really want to, you know, get in a, get in a, a, an Akai uh, sampler or, mm. you know, I started modifying my, my sampler, like, like mm -hmm. okay. Find hardwire modified drum machines. Here's, here's one that, uh, th this was a, uh, a gift from my, my collaborator, Igor Amakian. Um, and yeah, yeah, this, this is, you plug it in. Oh, the, the old Yamaha. Yeah, the old Yamaha RX-15, the quality of the sound banks and is great. It is broken in some area. He told me that it doesn't work in some area, but I didn't care. It's like something I could work on without breaking a new one, without wasting like hundreds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, I actually used one of those for an album project a long time ago. It was, those are great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I love the sound quality. Um, and um I, I just feel like with with the way stuff is going, you're, there's always going to be really really good older equipment that that with with just a few little updates to it or some some different um, features added, you you could kind of reintroduce it and 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 and, and it's fresh again. I mean, pe people have never heard it. So, absolutely, Gamma, great quality stuff. So where can people find you on social media? I have an Instagram. It's just J3M5. Um, that's 
that that's kind of like the go-to mm -hmm. is, is is the instagram i uh so i mean that that would be the only place i i don't i don't uh, upload to youtube any longer are there any other projects that you're working on that you'd like to share with us um at the, at the moment i'm um that i'm working on is um actually I, I i think you may have been to the recording session in 2019 it was late in november 2019 some of those recordings i uh i've um been been working on a little bit and uh well actually a lot and so um i have some of them queued up here but the sound quality is probably not going to be so good because we're using my internal mic but I'm, I'm working on on more or less a uh it's, it's a little compilation mm -hmm. it's going to be on on cassette format of course that's all i do right now but uh i'll queue it up for you Keller. Mm -hmm. Oh, Franz. Yeah. Yeah. Outstanding. Yeah, we're, we're pretty tight. So, so, um, I've taken all, all the stuff I recorded. Um, I, I broke it down into stems. So I had to make like probably like four different stems in different compressions, different bass stems on different, 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 um, frequencies. And, um, remixed it and so I'm, more, I'm still on the very second to last track and then uh, i have some other artists that, that will be included in this um, most of them are people that I've, I've been performing with for a while and, uh, and actually i'm, I'm uh, pro probably going to reach out to to some other people in the future because i think that the uh, the whole compilation seems to be working working pretty good mm -hmm. Any more of those Thank you so much for uh, interviewing with us tonight. And uh, this is Mark Soden for Wonder Valley Experimental 14, J3M5. We'll be uh, at the uh, patio stage on April 2nd, and we hope you can be there. So thank you again, James, and have a good evening.